What's up guys and welcome to episode 6 of the Torture God Career Mode and as I do every single episode I'm going to recommend to those who haven't seen the previous episodes to go ahead and watch those because there have been some really really fun fights especially the last one um, but for those of you who have already seen those or are just going to go skipping uh, past those we are coming off for the first loss of Torture God's career and it was a knockout loss to Mr. Bogdanov who like you saw in their first fight which was literally the first, the debut of the Torture One in the WFA it was a hell of a fucking war that Torture God came out uh, came out of with the W it was a controversial decision but he still got the W and then in the rematch he got knocked the fuck out in, in what was an absolute barn burner here we finally have the rivalry fight between Torture God and Walter Lara and of course it's not good for Lara because he got knocked the hell out in the first fight, and now he's going against, he's going against an angry torture god who, of course, is going to go train at Carizzi's gym because he wants to boost up his striking. He wants to make sure that that never happens again. He has three weeks of training, and he's going to go ahead, go ahead and learn a bunch of new moves. He's going to try to improve some of his uh, perks as well, give him more power, most importantly. And uh, it, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what T God can do because he's been working pretty much only on his grappling. Uh, since the beginning since we saw him just get taken down at will every single fight physically with the tail of tape we can see that Walter Lara as we remember has a, has a s somewhat significant height advantage but he has a shorter reach so it'll be interesting to see how that kind of plays out you know reach is kind of weird because it kind of depends on your height slash how long your arms are so they'll probably be more or less uh, even in terms of their of, in terms of their length and stuff like that so torture God immediately starts off with some uh with some one twos just trying to keep the stamina a bit closer because if you didn't see the last fight then let me tell you man t god he went balls to the wall and he gassed out brutally and that's one of the major reasons why he got knocked out so i think he pretty much understands that 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 can't happen again he's not just here to dominate he's here to dominate in excellent fashion he has to be smarter because he wants if he wants to torture he has to have as much energy as he possibly can as the fight moves on so he can't just kinda go swinging early on he needs to make this a prolonged beatdown but he has to have enough energy to actually beat you down he's throwing some good combos right here adding a bit a little bit of a, of a dutchy type thing you know the 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 jab cross leg kick that type of thing or the right straight I think it is right straight jab leg, um, leg kick so he's trying to work in some new things that he learned with Carizzi's of course that's more boxing but uh, he does have some Level two, level two Muay Thai combo. So you know he's he's pretty much bringing everything to the table. But Lara, you know, he's doing a hell of a lot better job than if, from what I remember he did in the first fight. You know, oh, Lara rocks him. T God's chin might be completely fucked after that fight with Bogdanov. So, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to take a we have to take that into consideration. His health might not be what it once was, which of course wasn't that great before. Lara eats a head kick, and he of course eats an overhand, which is something that T God learned. That's very important here because overhands are one of the most devastating punches in the entire game. Lands another one there. He sends him backwards. Lara's having a hard time dealing with that new move. He probably didn't expect Torture God to actually bring something. But this time, he is absolutely dominating T-God. Because, yes, T-God's landed some shots. But that's twice that Lara's rocked him. That's a nice body shot as well by Lara. Remember, drink every time I say beautiful or nice. You have to take a shot every time. Meanwhile, you know, both men have already lost a significant amount of stamina. It looks like T-God has slightly less. But it is closer than it was against Bogdanov. But, man, look at Lara. He's throwing good combinations. He saw what Bogdanov did to Torture God. He knows if he can weaken his body, then the head will follow. Look at that. That's a good cross. Torture God gets rocked with another huge move right there, man. Like, T-God is literally get, really getting pieced up. It's, it's kind of hard to see if it's maybe a confidence thing or his chin is mush. I mean, his brain is definitely mush, but I don't. I think it was probably already like that when he was born. I mean, T God has to kind of figure something out here because he's been rocked slash wobbled three times in the first four minutes of this fight. Look at that combination from Lara. T God gets caught once again, man. He's not doing well here. He's late. Oh, that's the fourth time, and he goes down. Holy shit! That's what the second knockdown, maybe third. Oh, he lands an up kick, and he gets caught with a right straight. Look at that. Beautiful combo from Lara. He's just absolutely torturing he who wants to torture the world. Look at this, man. But the torture god, he gets the, he gets the backside to end the round. But let me tell you, man, that, that might be the single most brutal round of torture god's career. And he's the one that has taken the beating. That's not something I expected. That is definitely not something we expected, I think, coming into this. Look at that beautifully blazed punch right there, right on the button. Sends torture god down. Just perfectly placed. Torture God once again gets caught 
right on the chin. This time an uppercut. Walter Lara, man, he's piecing him up. So he got throws a head kick, but he gets caught by a beautiful strike. Man, look at that. I, I just said beautiful like tw three times in the last like ten seconds. So, yeah, I feel I feel really bad for you guys. Anyway, round two. Can Torture God mix up his game? Opens up with a head kick. His stamina is significantly lower than, than Lara's right now. And he's taking a hell of a lot more damage. T-God is in deep shit right now. He does not want to lose two on the bounce. That would be devastating not just for his numbers and his, his record and stuff like that. But it would also be brutal for his longevity. Look at this, man. Lara is piecing him up. Torture God doesn't really know what to do. He goes to the body as well. And T-God goes to the ground once again. Holy shit, man. Torture God is getting absolutely mollywashed here. But he goes to the backside. He might need to go for a submission. Because he's been getting absolutely pieced up on the feet. He flattens him out. He's going for the Rio naked choke. Shout out to my man Rio. Rest in peace. He's going for the choke. He's desperate right now. Alright, stage one is done. Let's see what Lara can do on the ground. Ooh, he was close to escaping, but T-God keeps it in. Starting to tighten that choke up. Once again, he was close to escaping, but Torture God just barely gets to the next stage. Ooh, T-God, one more. One more. Can Torture God finish him like this? That'd be huge. There it is! Torture God! Holy shit, what a comeback. He was getting absolutely destroyed. He was on the brink of the second loss of his career. Two in a row. That would have been absolutely devastating for the guy's career. But he saves it with an absolutely clutch submission. I think one or two more big shots, he probably would have been completely unconscious. Or Lara would have been probably finishing him on the, on the ground. It would have been... Man, it was, it was a really, really, really hard fight for Torture God. That... That doesn't really bode well moving forward, but he gets the W. Hell of a, hell of a submission game right now by Torture God. That's what two or three submissions in his career. So he's starting to build that up pretty well. He knows that if he's getting pieced up, he does have that in his back pocket. So that's a that's a pretty big win right there. He wins by submission in the second round. But we'll see what happens with his longevity meter because that could be one that really does a lot of damage to him. There it is. End of the story. God <laughs> ends the Lara rivalry with a fantastic victory. The headlines are going to be hilarious because, of course, he's literally God. So It's pretty damn funny. All right, so Dana White, congratulations to Torture God. You're looking like a legit prospect. So he's already making a name for himself, and that's huge because I think he's going to get a new contract. There it is. Hopefully he'll make a bit of money now. 15 to show, 15 to win. That's still really, really low, but uh, it's only a four-fight contract, so hopefully... He can do something. And now, this is going to be a huge challenge right here. Paul Felder. I'm the next big thing, Torture God. You're, ne you're yesterday's news already. Well, I mean, with all due respect to Paul Felder, he was yesterday's news like three years ago. He's a hell of a commentator, but he's not going to make the title run anytime soon. Um, so, Torture God, he's going to make... He's going to try to make easy work with Paul Felder, who's a beast. But still, I think T-God has everything it takes to beat him. He has quite a bit of cash as well, so he can definitely go to a better gym now. He's going to need it because he's going to start fighting guys like Paul Felder, who... You know, has really good stats. He's been fighting relative bums so far. Thomas Gibbs, I think that's a rematch, right? Yeah, that's a rematch right there. Pasha Komolietz, or a rematch with Fazdemir. I think we're going to go with Pasha because it's a different guy. Or Thomas Gibbs, who we want to go with. Yeah, we'll go with Gibbs. Fuck it. We'll go with Gibbs just because, you know. Is it a rematch, though? This might not be a rematch. I can't remember. Actually, yeah, I don't think this is a rematch. No, I'm thinking of Estes. All right, so Thomas Gibbs, about the same height, of course, same weight, same reach, more or less. So, Torture God made—I'm not going to say quick work because it wasn't quick work, but he, you know, he did end it in the second round against against Lara. Can he get another finish relatively early here? Hopefully for him, taking a lot less damage. He he did start training at Crossbreed, so that's going to be a hell of a lot better gym. Um, you know, he's going to have better coaching so he should be learning better better perks and stuff like that too so it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see if T-God can take the step up because he's, he's taking a step up in competition and it's going to be a lot about what he can start learning if he can implement some better defense to his game because so far it's definitely not been going doing he's not been going well at all look at that it's a nice head kick good combination follows the head kick T-God's stocking him down this time though he's got to go more to the body that's a good head kick but Gibbs is eating it and that's just it just kind of shows you, man. Look at that hook. Like, T-God has such little power, and he has to work on that absolutely big, like, desperately. Because this is, it's not good for him to have to 
land probably double the amount of shots oh Gibbs is hurt he gets up though you know like it took what he got like three or four of those head kicks plus multiple hooks perfectly placed to actually knock him down so he needs to work on his power I don't know if he can really build that up too much because he's not that explosive he's just he's more of a volume guy problem is that if you're a volume guy you have to have good cardio and he does not have good cardio so <laughs> all right so he's, he's using those new combos he learned overhand but Gibbs blocks it very well but he lands a lead elbow that's that's a pretty good shot if he can start landing consistently but torture guys once again rocked man he, he his defense is awful and he consistently gets tagged by big shots and gets stunned can he do the same thing he did against Lara he goes he goes a back mount. It looks like he's getting confident with his with his grappling. There he's gonna go for the Rio naked choke once again. Let's see if he can finish Gibbs with a second straight submission. Alright, stage one is done. I think this is like one of the only submissions he actually has though. So he probably needs to get more of those. I think moving on to try to be able to unlock him. Gibbs, he is not able to escape. He came very close. Can he make it through this one? Oh he does. Not good for Torture God, who at least is still on uh, is still in half guard he postures up he lands a nice elbow this that one's blocked Gibbs is kind of just stalling here he goes to full guard T guard passes back to half and he goes to top mount so Gibbs has literally no grappling skills so T God can kind of do whatever he wants with him right now question is does he want to oh I guess we know I was gonna say does he want to go for a submission was gonna go for ground to pound based on those elbows I think he's gonna go with ground to pound Gibbs is taking a beating right now so, Torture Guy's doing a smart thing of building his stamina back up. Oh, lovely elbows. Phenomenal elbows right there. I can't believe I said lovely, but I did. All right, he stays in top mount. Will he recover? Will he go balls to the wall? He lands a couple elbows, and that's the end of the round. So, Torture Guy, he, he got caught, but he also rocked he also rocked uh, Gibbs, I think, once or twice. So, in terms of wobbles, they're pretty much the same. And T-God had a significant advantage on the ground. Landed some huge elbows. Almost got a submission. So I definitely think that's one round for T-God. It's not guaranteed because the judging in this game is pretty much unpredictable. But you would assume, at least in my opinion, that T-God is just ahead on the scorecards. Because Gibbs pretty much had no answer there on the ground. He was able to scramble to some to some slightly safer positions. But Torture God was always able to get back to top mount. Kind of do whatever he wanted to him. Alright, round two. T-God opens up with a body kick. Misses and gets caught with a couple of body shots. From Gibbs, but he lands a, right, an overhand. Great shot there, because the overhands are, are a lot quicker than you would think. Look at that, another one lands. And he hits him with a, with a head kick. That's the patented Torture God head kick plus the shimmy. T God, oh! Goes with a third in the row. Look at that, Gibbs is in deep shit right now. Oh, Gibbs counters. Goes through the body as well. Torture God's trying with that elbow, but he, has to, he can't get too cocky. He's gotten caught by a few pretty solid shots there. T. Guy goes to the body once again. All right, both men are just absolutely throwing everything they have. Gibbs with a very soft kick. Torture guy walks right into a beautiful right hook to the body. T. Guy gets caught. Lands a leg kick, does literally no damage. Gets hit by a couple of shots. Torture guy has to be very careful. He lands a combo. He can't get too cocky though. Oh, he spins and he almost got hit in the ass, which is. The most devastating move in this game is where you get punched in the ass when you go in for a head kick. Literally, the butthole shot is the most devastating thing I've ever seen. Leg kick from Torture God is doing absolutely nothing. Apparently, uh, Gibbs has better legs well, than who was it? Atkinson. Atkinson was a bum, but apparently this dude does not, does not skip leg day. Gibbs misses with a shot, and T-God counters, and there he goes. He rocks him, but he's got no stamina. He has to be careful. He can't just go for it. He has to... He has to be careful. He cannot risk losing another fight. Head kick! Oh! Torture God! With a KO! That's a phenomenal performance there in this second round. That first round was a bit dicey. like, But once he got onto the ground, it kind of seemed like... I think uh, Gibbs kind of lost a bit of confidence there. He realized that the fight goes to the ground, he had no chance. And Torture God kind of opened up his striking a bit more. Because I think Gibbs was pretty much constantly worried about the takedown. So just look, let's just look at this again, man. It's the patented head kick... From Torture God. Every, almost every fight he's won by KO has been with a head kick. Look at that. The way he just turns his hips into it. It's beautifully placed right behind the ear. It's a borderline illegal shot. Torture God does not care. 
I mean, Gibbs, he put up a good fight in that first round, but all it was all torture got from, from the start of the second one on. So Herb Dean's going to raise the arm of the one and only Bone Crusher slash Torture God. Who well, gets what? That's like his seventh win? Seventh or eighth win? Quite a few by knockout. That's his third UFC knockout. Oh, okay, that's his, fi his fifth UFC fight. Okay. Let's see what his longevity is. His longevity is down to 76.9, which is not good at all. His fight hype is still low, which isn't great. But he's starting to get noticed a little bit more, so you do have to respect that. Megan O'Levy, uh, you know, giving him compliments. Of course, he's going to be a bit of a cocky asshole because that's what the torture god that's what Torture God is. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because that's always really, really helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Torture God. What's been what's been his his best fight in your opinion so far, and what do you think uh, are his chances of actually getting that title and beating Paul Felder? So, I'll see you in the next episode, guys. See ya.